Hey guys, a couple thoughts about this week's circuit. Um, let me go to the diagram here. So we've got our buttons, some resistors, six volt battery pack, just like we've been doing. This is the chip. Remember, the numbers on the outside are the actual leg numbers, the pin numbers. The details on the inside are the functions of those. And in Tinkercad, you'll see, and I'll show you in a minute, that those pop up when you hover over the legs. So basically what this chip does is it takes four, one, two, three, four, four input signals, and it converts those signals into a combination of signals at the output that drive this type of LED display. So it takes a combination of four and it turns it into a specific combination of seven. And these four are working in binary and these seven work to drive these LEDs to create the display of numbers. So it's really a cool chip and you see these a lot in uh, older electronics. So um, let's get this to work this week with just push buttons, but over the next two weeks, we're gonna have this count automatically using our 555 timer and then our binary um, LED lighter upper thinger, okay? So this is a CD4511 BCD binary coded decimal, okay? So it takes that BCD signal, which we created last week, that binary coded decimal signal, and it converts it to a seven segment signal. Okay, so that's what this chip does. It drives these guys here. Now let's go to Tinkercad and I'll show you a couple things. The wiring can be messy. So you wanna work with a full size breadboard. Um, the display is here. All right, so put this one in and set it up to where it, um, a little on the right. And if you hover over these pins, you will see that this is segment G, segment F, common, which in our case needs to be set to common cathode. Okay, not common anode. Common cathode means that all these LEDs share a ground. If you put common anode, it means that they share a positive. We're setting this up common cathode to share a ground. So this pin here, would go common goes to ground. You'll set that up. There's pin for segment A, pin for segment B, pin for segment E, pin for segment D. Common, once again, goes to ground, and you'll set that up. And pin for segment C, and pin for decimal point, which is right here. We're not gonna use him, so we'll tie him down to ground as well. Okay. Now my suggestion for you guys to wire this up to our chip, the chip's all the way at the bottom, I think it's the last one. Yeah. Uh, you can't simply put your resistors in here and connect them on the breadboard. So what I did and what I would recommend is pull your resistors out a little bit so you have space to run wires directly. So for example, this is G, this one goes to F. So which pin is G? I think it's over here, G. So what you do is you take G, bring a wire up and out. This one's G? Yeah, this one's G. And run your wires outside, give you more space. This one's F, this one is F, F over here. So do the same thing. Bring it up and use this whole space we have. Make sure you click it on that resistor. Okay, and if you end up with wires that look like this, you know, it only takes a second. Make them nice and neat. All right, so that's how you're gonna wire up this guy um, on all these pins here. Power goes to positive and a la 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 la. Remember, the pin with the dot is pin one. Pin two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pin nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And if you hover over the pin, 
it labels what the pin actually does. Okay. Now, one other thing to show you all, let's, you know, you could wire this up using the normal push buttons we've been using. Click on, click on, click off. But we want to be able to turn the switches on and them to stay on so we can start to add with this binary. So the slide switch would work as well, but there's a better one, which would be this little blue dip switch. It's got four switches built into one. So let me set that up a little bit, just give you a demo here. Now, if you look at the schematic, one side, uh, let's say uh, pin A here, DA, goes to the switch, and that DA pin also goes to a resistor to ground. Okay, so one side of the switch gets the pin, and it also gets a resistor to ground. The other side of the switch goes to positive power. So, um, that was pin 7, so that's input number 1, okay? Now, remember, in binary, the 1's place is over here. 1's place, 2's place, 4's place, 8's place. So, we're going to connect um, a resistor to ground. So, there's a resistor to ground, and we're going to take this over to input number 1. And then this side of the switch is going to go up to positive power. All right, so that works for input one. Now, number three here would be input two, which is this guy. This is input three. This is input four. If you want it to work correctly, if you wire them up at random, you're going to flip these switches and you're going to see the numbers appear kind of random. So position binary 1s, position binary 2s, position binary 4s, position binary 8s. If you want to review that, you watch a YouTube video on binary. All right, um, when you get this thing working and you start it, if you flip these switches, um, numbers should appear and these binaries should add. Okay, so this would give you 0. You flip this up, you get 1. Flip this up, you'll get 2 plus 1, you'll have 3. You put this up, you get 4, 5, 6, 7. If you add the 8 in, it's going to go blank again or something because we only have one set up. If you set up two displays and two of these chips, you can count up to uh, 15. All right, have fun with this. If you need me, I'm on the chat. And be well, everybody.